Just for Jermaine, Jay. I don't know, Jermaine, the, the fever, I guess, uh, has it hit you guys? And uh, what do you think of all of uh, the excitement after the one over there? You know, it's, it's it's great. You know, it's great for the community. It's great for all the YSU fans and family. But, uh, you know, we learned that we have to have a short-term memory here. We have to be one every week. And, you know, we're going into every game expecting to win. So, uh, you know, like I said, we, we just have to have a short-term memory. You know, it was a great win. We got to forget about it. We have Valpo this week. You, I, I think both talked about earlier today just about how you didn't have a short-term memory after the North Dakota State loss. Did you have you talked about that? Like you know, I mean, no, no, it's Valpo this week, but yeah, you know, that's something that like we really stressed in the offseason because I think that we kind of you know kind of got the big head after North Dakota State and kind of you know went to Missouri State expecting to win and just knowing that we were going to win and kind of just looking past them, looking to the playoffs, and as as we saw, we didn't have the outcome that we wanted to. So you know, we're going into this season with that chip on our shoulder and with every game with that chip on our shoulder and just knowing that we want to be one and every week and not be worried about one week later or two games later. You know, we just want to handle our business every week. Jermaine, is that just a sense of maturity? Yes, you know, I think so because, like I said, we, we learned that hard or we learned the hard way last year at uh, Missouri State. So, yes, it's a sense of maturity, but also, you know, it's just something that, that we learned. We learned our lesson by just looking past an opponent, so we never want to do that again. They said the biggest improvements made from week one to week two. Week one, you look pretty good, but where are some areas that maybe there you guys need to make some improvements? You know, I think offensively, you know, we can always improve as far as moving the ball and just little technique things and just fundamentals because fundamentals is a huge part of the game, you know, offensively and defensively. And so, you know, yesterday our coaches were, were still getting on us just as hard as they were all camp. Even defensively, I could, I could, I could hear in the other room. I could hear Coach Tracy going off on those guys, even though I thought they played a great game, you know. And so it just shows that we have a co I mean, it just shows that we have a great coaching staff, and they're going to coach us hard no matter who our opponent is. How was how rewarding was it for you having gone through all the losses over the last few years to finally get one of these? You know, you know, it was it was great. It was it was a great feeling. You know, I I haven't really had that feeling since I've, I mean, since I've been here at YSU, but you know. We're still not satisfied, you know, we're not going to be satisfied until we're in that national championship game. We have that conference championship. We're, we're kind of just so hungry this season. We just, we just want it, we just want it all and, want it, and we won't stop until we get to the top. Jermaine, do you feel now after getting that big win that the target's going to be even bigger on your back when you, get, when you guys get more into conference play? Yes, but you know, before the season our coaches told us that we're not sneaking up on anyone this season. And we know that and so we know that we have the bullseye on our chest and we've had that even before the season. So we're going into every game just confident that we can still do what we would do against Pitt or do against Valpo or do against you and I, any of our opponents. We're just confident that we can play with anyone who we line up against. With all due respect, the competition level um, shouldn't be as good as Pitt. How do you guys keep a level head? Well, like, you know, we just talked about, you know, Missouri State last year. We looked past them, and, and as we saw, we, we lost that game. We don't want to ever have that feeling again and have that feeling throughout our whole offseason or the rest of the season, you know, because something like that can ruin something great. You know, like like I said, last year we came out, we beat the number one team in the nation, and, and then we come and lose to the state because we're looking past them. And so we learned a lesson. We don't want to ever look past another opponent again. As I just stated. One of the other things that, oh, go ahead. Give us a little scouting report on the Valpo de defense. You know, what you remember, what, what you think you'll see. Um, we really haven't we really haven't went over them that much, but I think they run a, it's either a 3-4 defense or a 4-4 defense. And, you know, they, they have a lot of, they have some players returning. Um, you know, we're just, like I said, we're confident that no matter what they run, no matter what they do, that we will be able to execute offensively and defensively. One of the things I want to write about later this week is you guys have a lot of junior college transfers, and um, I know you're not one of them. But you know, can you talk about just integrating new guys and, and the, you know, the process, especially with junior college guys, what that's been like? I think it has helped us tremendously, especially defensively, because it brings in some experience. You know, it's not it's not a guy that's fresh out of high school. You know, he's had some college experience against uh, a good level of competition. So you know, like I think let's see, like those guys like Jeremy Edwards on defense. You know. He, he starts safety for us. Um, uh, Julius Charles, you know, those guys have came in and done a great job, as you've seen against Pitt, and it just brings 
a level of experience. And, you know, those guys, those guys are great players. You know, those guys are guys that I'm great to say that are on my team, you know. So those guys help us tremendously. Jermaine, do you think that um, some of those uh, riding the fence fans you've won on the your side now? I think so, you know, because, you know, just coming back here, just seeing the, the city go crazy. You know, I've had so many people come to me saying, you know, you guys are, you guys don't know what this meant to the community. And, you know, it's just, it's just a great feeling to know that, you know, we, I feel like we will have those fans and I think ticket sales are up and I think things just look bright for the future. How about the rest of the conference? I mean, obviously Northern Iowa almost beating Wisconsin and uh, Indiana State almost beating Indiana. I mean, are you proud of the conference or are you kind of saying, hey, Shoot, those guys are up again. I mean, I'm proud. You know, I think I think mean, here we love competition, but you know the Missouri Valley Conference is, is it's a tough conference, and we know that, and we we go into every week knowing that you know we're going to play a tough opponent, as if we were playing Pitt or Penn State or Michigan State. So these teams are great. You know, just because they're Division One AA teams doesn't mean that there's a slack off in the competition. So we're confident that that you know, like I said, we're going to go in and compete with those teams and. We're looking forward to those big games this year.